Hello, my name is Renate. I'm a Dutch artist and writer and I live in La Herradura in uh, the province of Granada in Spain. I'm really grateful to Costa Women to have organized this uh, pop-up shop and uh, it's a fantastic group anyway to be part of and I'm really glad I've got to know them. And um, the pop-up shop is uh, a new experience for me to have kind of a shop. Um, I've been a professional artist for over 35 years and uh, in Holland I was in the art circuit in galleries and participated also in uh, uh, exhibitions even in Rome and in Paris so I've been um, a serious professional artist for many many years but since I'm in Spain I, I came to Spain in oh I should look there <laughs> I came to Spain in 2003 um, with my then partner who was an Englishman and um, I started writing books and <clears throat> uh, I'm also going to be I'm going to be part of two pop-up shops so to speak so I'm part of the um, uh, normal pop-up and I'm part of the book uh, pop-up so I'll start talking a little bit about my books um, because they are important to me I'll just briefly talk about some of them briefly, others a bit more maybe. Uh, but uh, Secret Thought was my first book and it's just a book with short, very short, quirky, uh, a bit surreal stories, sensual stories. And um, yeah, this is just my first book. I've written all my books in English. Um, and they're of course proofread because you need a proofreader for sure. And uh, then the second book I read, wrote was uh, Cheers. And um, Cheers is a book about living with an alcoholic and I wrote it for people who are in that situation. But I uh, interviewed other people's, it's my experience which is in there as well, but I interviewed uh, children, partners, mothers uh, of alcoholics but also alcoholics themselves and people who work with alcoholics. And these are short stories that I wrote with their permission. So they're really like stories. It's not just a dry scientific book, uh, but I'm still very passionate about the subject because uh, it's, I think so many people suffer uh, uh, and are ashamed to, to, they don't want to talk about the situation. Then I wrote a book about La Herradura, where I now live called Reflections from La Herradura. And uh, amongst others, it, it tells, it's like an itinerary, you get to know the village, but it also tells about the history because there was actually a very severe shipwreck here in, uh, in the 1600s and um, the, most of the Spanish Armada uh, was ruined and 5,000 people died, but it was kept secret for the rest of Spain, so it's not in the history books because the Moors weren't supposed to know in that time because uh, most of the Spanish Armada, I said Armada, but Armada was gone uh, due to a freak of nature. So that's in this book as well. Um, then I wrote three little books uh, from a series called I Feel uh, Better. And these are books and they have little mandalas in them and visualizations. I don't go into them too much. But during lockdown, I wrote two more books. And um, one book was, I interviewed my dad, who is now 19, 90, <laughs> uh, about his uh, experience as a teenager in a family who was in the resistance and his own brother died as a result of a shot wound that he incurred during uh, something he did for the resistance. And um, then my latest book is called Tapas of Tales and it's uh, real stories but written in a funny, quirky way about my life here in Spain. So that is my latest book. But apart from my book, as you know, as you can see, I'm an artist and I also really love mandalas. Uh, I like to work in series. Now the light of this video is not very good because these are very colorful. I don't know if you can see it if I hold it a bit closer. Um, but they're a lot nicer in real life than what you can see here now. So I've made flamenco series, Buddha series, but um, during this, uh, my pop-up shop, I will explain about painting. I will give a few freebies about starting a painting. I will tell you about colors. I'm hoping to do some live painting. Uh, it will all be spontaneous, but um, I'm, I'm hoping to introduce my art to you that way by uh, showing you some of my art. Um, uh, but I, uh, I also have created uh, uh, angel oracle cards and they're called me moment cards 
Um, they have, at the back of each card, they have information about why you picked the card and then a suggestion to have some time with yourself. And these are a little bit fun angels. They're not, it's all not very totally serious, but it's serious and it can be helpful. And um, I also conduct art classes and I have been conducting art classes in my studio here in La Ardura or already in, in Spain since 2003. Uh, but because of lockdown, I had to find other ways. And I'm now teaching online via Zoom. And honestly, that works. You're still part of a class. You're still in a situation where you can talk to each other. And I can perfectly well show you how to do things and suggest things so and guide you to get uh, to a certain level. I also give mandala workshops and uh, uh, many more things but um, the classes are also important to me I'm passionate about that I love teaching people and then uh, yeah last but not least I do sell my products on various platforms amongst which the Saatchi online art gallery uh, but also in Redbubble where you can get smaller products with some of my designs not all of my designs um, and also Renard's World Fashion is a shop where you can buy t-shirts and tote bags and uh, prints, they are all uh, made from uh, the, um, organic cotton and recycled paper, all very ethically produced with fair trade and everything. So I'm very, very proud of that as well. And um, yeah, I will talk about that as well. So hopefully when you follow me in my shop, you will learn more about what art can do for you, how art can turn a house into a home and um, maybe pick up some tips and tricks and um, if you like you can buy maybe some if you like to some smaller products either on those platforms or i also for example sell these uh, give and receive mandalas which i will explain about as well and i also have created these surrender ceramic balls with little bodies on little bowls anyway that's a lot of information i do realize that and uh, if you're at all curious, I hope you will see me and follow me and look me up in the pop-up shop and also other uh, females, female entrepreneurs. And I've seen quite a few of them already and they're all amazing in their own right. And uh, uh, thank you very much, Ali and Lorraine, who are the two people really behind this enormous organization uh, to organize this pop-up shop. And uh, I hope that you all uh, enjoy it and uh, find some nice products and uh, wishing you already a beautiful seasonable se seasonal holiday <laughs> see I'm Dutch it's not perfect English all the time uh, for me it's bye bye for now and hoping to see you in my shop bye